Okay guys, so today we're doing a uh, unboxing review on the Woodstock Mini Dust Separator. Uh, this is a two-stage cyclone attachment for a five-gallon bucket that uh, helps your shop back work more effectively as a dust collector by um, separating out the wood chips and the dust before it enters the shop vac. Um, we're starting out today with the separator here. We've got a new filter for the shop vac. We got a clean five gallon bucket. And we got a clean shop vac here. Um, if you guys have used you know your shop vac as a uh, dust collector or you know to vacuum up wood chips and stuff like that, you know you know that um, the filters tend to clog up really fast. So, um, I just cleaned out the filter previously, the one that I just threw away. And in less than a week, the thing was already loaded up. So I ordered this on Amazon. It was about $12 and, a, 12 and change uh, with free shipping. Um, th this is exactly as it comes out of the box. There's no assembly. Uh, there's no instructions. Um, yeah, I guess the instructions are right here. Fits over a standard five gallon bucket. Removes large chips before entering the dust collector. Convert shop vacuums in this two stage system. So. We'll see how it goes. I didn't see um, any reviews on this on, on YouTube. The The reviews on Amazon were, were pretty favorable. I think it was um, at least four stars. Um, but I didn't see anything on YouTube about this yet, so I figured I'd make a video on it. Um, it's got two holes that are supposed to accept the standard two and a half inch shop vac hoses. So we'll see how that works. Let me get this stuff put together and get the shop vac put together and uh, we'll see how it does. Okay, so the shop vac I have here is a rigid 6 horsepower, 14 gallon shop vac. It's pretty good, um, pretty good for a shop vac. I've had this for, I don't know, 4 or 5 years. It's worked pretty good. Um, but, you know, I use it a lot with my miter saw or with the sander or even just to clean up sawdust in the garage. It, it clogs the filter pretty, pretty quickly. Um, so the fit here on the uh, dust separator worked pretty well. The hoses connect right up. Um, these are just standard, the standard two and a half inch shop vac hoses. The ends plug right in there. Uh, not the most positive feeling, but you know, secure enough. Um, like I said, the lid fits on there. So again, we got nothing in the, nothing in the separator. We got nothing in the vacuum right now. Brand new filter. I got a box of uh, sawdust here out of my table saw. So I'm just gonna turn this on, turn the shop back on. I'm gonna suck all the sawdust out of this box and we'll see how much of it ends up in the, in the bucket and how much ends up in the vacuum. big chunks in there too mostly uh, this is mostly from cutting plywood on the table saw some um, 1x4s and 1x3 pine some 2x4s but most of this is plywood dust she's doing a pretty good job picking it up I got some some rips in there wood sucking them right out All right. Okay, so really good job. This box was almost completely full of sawdust, cleaned it out in about a minute or less. Let's see. How much is in the bucket here? Oh, pretty good amount. Pretty good amount here. You can see the bucket's filled up to here. Okay, a lot of it ended up in here. That's great. It's a great sign. 
Let's see how much ended up in the vacuum. Okay, decent amount. Not zero, but not that. Again, this thing was pretty much completely clean before I started this. Um, the bottom of the power head here, there's some, some gunk on there that I wasn't able to get off without uh, spending a whole day trying to clean that off. So most of this was already on there, but this was pretty much a brand new filter. You can see it's got, it's got a decent amount of stuff coming out. A lot of the fine dust. Um, but, I mean, we saved all of that from going into the into the vacuum and and probably a lot of that would have ended up on this filter also so i'd say it's a success um you know and, and if not for anything else it'll help make an empty empty this out much less frequently um this is kind of a pain that, with this shot back because all the attachments are stored on the uh, canister itself so to empty this out you got to take all these off and you know it's a little deal but you know it's a little bit of an extra hassle every time you gotta dump this plus the shape of it the way the uh, the top of it kind of isn't you know fully open it uh, it never really gets all of it out so this shop back that's my only complaint with the shop back is it is a little bit of a pain to uh, to empty out but so let's take a closer look here at the separator. See the bottom of it, really nothing special here. It's basically just a molded piece of plastic that air comes in one side on the right, comes out on the left there. Sorry, it goes in on the left. I guess if you're looking at it that way. It goes in this way. This is the chips and stuff coming in. And the right side is the clean air going to the shop back. Pretty sturdy. Um, fits on here pretty good. The hoses, sorry there, I mean, they just plug right in, holds it fairly, fairly securely. Tug on it a little bit. So, would I buy it again for 12 bucks? Yeah, probably. Um, you know, any of the DIY cyclone separators, you know, you're going to have at least four or five bucks in uh, parts, you know, in a lid and some plumbing fittings and, you know, maybe some screws and whatnot. Uh, this thing is ready to go right out of the box, fits right in the bucket, no work, no hassle. Works with the standard shot vac hoses. Um, so, yeah, I would buy it again. Is it the perfect solution? No, but. For, for my needs for the time being I think this will work um, you know I kind of was going back and forth with some of the bigger dust separators like the uh, the dust right from Rockler or the uh, dust deputy from Oneida uh, or even the dust stopper you can buy those at Home Depot or you order them online you know they're all you know the the cheapest one is is 40 bucks I think the dust stopper is 40 bucks um, the dust deputy, you know, that, that, that's 45 or 50 bucks uh, more, you know, if, if you want it with the bucket and the lid. The uh, dust right, I think, is anywhere from 60 to 100 bucks from Rockler, depending on, you know, if it's on sale or not. That's a little bit bigger, you know, it's about a 10 gallon container. But, um, you know, it's still a pretty decent amount of money to put into a shop vac separator that at the end of the day is still not going to perform like a dedicated dust collector is going to do so i didn't want to throw you know 50 to 100 bucks into a two-stage thing for the shop back here um as opposed to you know putting 200 bucks into an actual dust collector that you can upgrade that as you go with better filter bags with uh you know doing a two-stage system on, on, a, on a dedicated dust collector um, not sure right now that I have the space for a dedicated dust collector. 
um, or the uh, really or the demand to have one um, this is primarily going to be for making cuts with the miter saw in the garage and for using my sander and the router anything else with a small I've got a um, I've got an inch and a quarter hose that's got a two and a half inch end that'll plug into this that I can use with my hand tools and this is nice and small it can live underneath the uh, it can live right here underneath the chop saw and um, I think it'll work for at least three quarters of my needs um, you know I can find a way to maybe do an overarm collector for the table saw there um, I don't think this will be as effective on the table saw just because of the limited air volume but I don't know you never know um, but certainly this thing with the shop bag attached to it is is great inside the shop um, I know my dust or my sander with the shop vac attached to it does pretty good um, at eliminating the majority of the dust in the shop so that was that that's what I'm thinking here is that you know I don't have another tool to take up space in the shop and this will do um, a better job at prolonging the life of the filters here and making it easier to dump so hopefully you got something out of this um, if you did, you know, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And um, if you have any questions about this setup, please feel free to ask. I'd be happy to answer them for you. All right, that's it. Thanks, guys.